Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Today I am doing a video on the top selling rock bands of all time. Now I searched on Google, I googled it, and I came up with of course more than one list. <clears throat> and I was kind of questioning the one list I came I, I saw because where is Queen? I thought Queen is one of the biggest bands of all time, but they were not in the top ten, which really surprised me. And I was also surprised at how low some of the other rock bands were in this list. But then I, I would see this list on other sites, and so there must be a little bit of truth to the list. I don't know. But this is the list I got, and this is the list I'm going to do. So first of all, I'm going to let you know the top selling, supposedly, rock bands of all time. And then I'm going to put them in the order that I like the bands. So here we go. Number 10, and I was surprised they were number 10. I thought they would be right near the top. U2 with 52. Now, now this was last year. This was done, I guess, last year. So, so maybe they've sold another 10,000 since then. U2 at 52 million. Number 9, Van Halen at 56.5 million. Record sales. Number 8, Metallica with, 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 Metallica with 62 million. Number 7, The Rolling Stones at 66.5 million. But of course, in a way, Metallica should be above the Rolling Stones because the Rolling Stones have been together quite a few more years than Metallica. But I'm just going by what the list said. Number six, Aerosmith, with uh, the same as the Rolling Stones, 66.5 million. Number five, ACDC, with 72 million. Number four, and I knew they would be high on the list, but I'm kind of a little surprised that they've outsold uh, ACDC. Pink Floyd with 75 million. Number three, The Eagles with 101 million eight track tapes sold. Congrats, The Eagles. So who's number two? No. Actually, the Who aren't even on this list. Another surprise. And like I said, I, I'm really surprised Queen... I noticed Queen uh, was further down when I did some, some more research. I always do research for my videos. And... I forget, but they were down in the 20s or 30s. Number two is Led Zeppelin with 111.5 million units sold. And of course, number one, who else could it be but a flock of seagulls? I was trying to think of a stupid name. The Beatles, of course, with, uh, well, with 178 million units sold. So here we go. And of course, my viewers know that my favorite band of all time is the Beatles, or most of my viewers know that. So they're in, at number one. But who's at number 10 to number two? And I'd love your thoughts in the comments section below too of your own list of where, where you would put these bands. Number 10, the Eagles. I respect them for their talent. I think they're great songwriters, great musicians. But for me, it's just not interesting music for me to listen to. Uh, back in the day, I did buy Eagles albums, like when Hotel California came out, I bought that, and I enjoyed it at the time, but I'm just not... They don't interest me enough. So they're number 10. Number 9 is Metallica. Once again, I used to buy their albums back in the day, but... I've never been a huge fan, but once again, I respect their talent, and I can see why people like them or love them, and uh, good for you if you're a Metallica fan. 
not so good for you if you're an Eagles fan. Sorry, just joking. Number eight, Van Halen. I love early Van Halen, especially the debut album and 1984 and a couple of other hits. Not crazy about the Sammy Hagar years at all. So they're number eight. Number seven, Aerosmith. I love early Aerosmith, as do most people. I'm not so crazy about their music after... I get permanent vacation was sort of good, but after that, I lost interest fast. Number five, and they used to be... They used to be number two on my list. Or at least number three. And I would still listen to them. I just forgot one. Shit. Back it up, Larry. Back it up! Number six, ACDC. Great band. Probably one of the greatest live acts of all time. But I prefer early ACDC. And that, that would be mainly the music I would listen to. Whole, whole lot of Rosie is one of my all-time favorite songs. Number five. And number five would have been much higher up on the list until I gave up on them a year or two ago. You too. But I'd still, I still like and love some of their earlier songs and albums. I just never listen to them anymore. Number four. Pink Floyd. Up until Roger Waters left, one of my favorite bands. And number two and number three are kind of interchangeable. But I decided number three was the Rolling Stones. I love their earlier material up, up to the album Tattoo You, and then I lost interest in them. A lot of great music, especially their 60s music. And number two, Led Zeppelin. I'm not crazy about their final album, In Through the Outdoor, but besides that, I love Led Zeppelin. Definitely one of the best bands of all time. So they're number two, and like I said, number one is the Beatles. So I would love your thoughts in the comment section below of where you would place these bands in your top ten. Thanks for watching. Bye. There might be some outtakes at the end of this video. <clears throat> then I'm going to rank them on how I prefer them, from one to two, one to two. Fuck. Focus, Larry, focus. Uh, well, especially in through the outdoor. Uh, rock bands, and I'm gonna put them in the order that I prefer them. To listen to them or not listen to them. What the? F now everybody knows that. Well, most people that all the people that watch my videos forget it. Wow. Take two. I need to calm down. Got a few outtakes there.